Yeah, dude, I have no idea how people keep getting zeroed during KVK. Like, it's it's actually embarrassing, you know? If you get zeroed, like, you're just you're just bad, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're obviously just, like, not paying attention, you know what I mean? Right, like, just teleport onto safety, like, just, just pop a bubble, you know? Like, it's, it's so easy. No, I know, I've been playing the game for years, and I've never gotten zeroed. It, I, I just, I don't get it. Hey, listen, I'm really tired, I gotta go to bed. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna talk to you later, okay? Three hours later. A few moments later. One eternity later. Well, 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 how the mightiest farmer has fallen. You know the drill already, cheers. Yes, it's true, I did actually get zeroed in KVK, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about how, why, I'm gonna show some reports. But first, I just wanna thank you guys. I feel like my last couple of videos have done really, really well, and you guys have been crushing the thumbs up button, and I just think it's important to stop and say, hey, thank you. Also, later in the video, I'm gonna talk about what I did with the Wheel of Fortune event money from the video a couple of weeks ago. And finally, about 80% of you guys are not subscribed, so make sure you click that button. It really helps the channel a ton. So from what I could tell, there were four rallies that actually hit my city and then a bunch of swarms just taking all my resources. And I'm going to show those reports in just a second. But first, I want to answer some frequently asked questions about my city getting zeroed. The first one is that was this for kill event, right? Because kill event was actually going on for the mightiest governor while my city was getting rallied. And no, it, no, it, it wasn't. No, it wasn't for mightiest. It wasn't for mightiest governor. Another common question I've been getting is, was this for content? Also, no. A lot of people thought that I was doing this on purpose so I could lower my power so that way I could migrate easier and that makes sense, but also no. I even saw some people saying, hey, did your home kingdom zero you because you said you were planning on migrating? And also, surprisingly, no. As a matter of fact, my alliance did try to contact me while this was happening. They also made sure that I had the general buff and I still had it when I woke up that day. From what I've been told, they also even used the counter offensive skill for my city, which I do appreciate they didn't have to do that. I've been relatively useless during this KVK anyway, so really my kingdom and my alliance owe me nothing. I actually saw one comment that said that Lilith probably put a hit on my account for talking shit about all their terrible ads in a recent video I uploaded. Now, I'm not here to be a conspiracy theorist, but that video is kind of blowing up. I'm, I'm kidding. Clearly not. Anyway, let's take a look at the reports for my city getting zeroed. Now, when I woke up, of course, I, I you know, this intro skit here was, was obviously a dramatic version, but when I woke up, I did immediately remember, oh my God, I didn't teleport back to home kingdom. And I'm going to talk about what actually happened and how I got zeroed. Um, but I woke up and I was looking for the reports, right? And you could see a lot of these people, they were just swarming my city. They were taking my resources. And honestly, you know, I think some of these people just hit my city just so they could be like a part of it. But I was scrolling through here and I was looking for the reports of, of where I got rallied. And I had so many scouts and so many swarms that I actually don't have the report. Like I myself do not have the reports of my city getting rallied. So I did have to ask around. And if you were one of the people that sent me these battle reports, thank you. So here we have a report from CJ, Mr. Boys. Of course, he comes in with an Attila Takeda. This is still like the best city rallying combo. And uh, whew, man, that rally size is no joke. I mean, I, I straight up got deads on the first rally. My Zenobia Martel was just not a good strategy. Now I did actually kind of get lucky because 95% of the time my Zenobia has zero equipment on it because there's just no point in putting equipment on a commander unless you're gonna actually use them as a primary. But this is the equipment that was on my Zenobia when my city got rallied because I was using her a little bit earlier to put in a flag. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I still got zero. So it's not like it could have gone worse, but I guess technically it could have slightly worse or at least I could have done a little bit less damage now I don't know if Martel was the best choice as a secondary here obviously this is a super infantry focused garrison and if you're curious to know what my Zenobia talents were this was the build that I had on when this happened of course this is not the best build for city defense I mean I didn't even have no work to turn right so clearly even though Zenobia is a really powerful garrison commander and I think my equipment is pretty good for her this was just not an ideal setup for defending my city but again I was not even anticipating a city rally so 
the fact that I at least had equipment on my Zenobia and my wall was set up with two garrison commanders and everything was good. It honestly pr it should have gone worse than it did. Now, obviously having a YSS or a Theodora or something of that nature on the wall would have been way better, but I don't have any of those commanders, right? So Esong maybe could have done some nice AOE damage, who knows? But at the end of the day, right? Only four rallies is what it took to take out my city because of how absolutely massive these rally, rally sizes are here in KVK. So no matter who was on my wall, uh, I didn't have a bubble up and I wasn't on safe territory. I was going to get zeroed no matter what. So you can see the time difference here from 432 over to 459. I believe that's when the counter offensive skill was popped. Second rally coming in being absolutely deadly, almost a million dead troops for that second rally. Again, Attila Takeda, so good at melting cities, just insanely, incredibly good at burning these cities down. This was the third rally a couple of minutes later from ultra zero. And again, over 600,000 dead troops. This wasn't even a full 3.6 million rally still absolutely shredded me. I mean, these trades are atrocious, right? I mean, of course I don't really, ha I have less like a million troops. So he's outnumbers me three to one with a rally, but the dead trades were six to one. So it, it was, it was awful. And then the final rally report that I have is from this Barney looking fella over here, 3.2 million absolutely shredded me again. I, I had so few troops left. Like I was pretty much, I had nothing. So in a minute, I'm going to talk about why I was actually actually zeroed, but I'm sure you're asking the question, Omniarch, where's the video? Sadly, I don't think there's a video of my city getting rallied, but if I were to guess, I think it would probably have gone something like this. I'm kidding. There's literally no way it was that epic. I was, I only had like 75 million power. So it's not like I'm like, you know, some 200 million power Andy, but I do have some screenshots. So if you did take screenshots of this, thank you so much here. You can see that Mr. Boys rally coming in, coming in hot, baby hitting my city here. You can see a bunch of greedy f lining up to take all of my f resources I, I mean i mean um i i mean the, uh so the okay so the real reason that uh i, I let myself get zeroed because i just wanted to give back to the community you know what i mean like i just felt like you know i have so many resources and you know the rise of kingdoms community is just just watches my videos and supports my youtube channel and i just felt like okay i'll just give them all away to everybody and, oh i wish that were true so anyway this is the ultra zero rally coming in on my city you can see i did have the general title thank you to the kingdom for that didn't have it on the first one though so that probably would have been helpful. I actually, it could have been just seconds later that they, that they gave it to me. I actually don't know when I was given the general title. Here's the third screenshot that I have. You can see, obviously there's a couple of Richards coming on, coming in here and you see a ton of siege units, right? Because they realized that I don't have any AOE on my wall. So they could just get as close and up close and personal in my business as they wanted to. And that is that. And this is the final screenshot that I do have here. This was actually, I can't even see the name uh, as to who was leading this rally. So now I'm sure you're wondering on the arc, how did this happen? How did you let this happen? What was the real, what, what, what is going on here? How does a player like you get zeroed? You've been playing this game forever. So let me set the stage for you. Okay. The day before I was up until like one 30 in the morning, editing the Bjorn is a hidden weapon video that I posted a couple of days ago. And then I woke up at six 30 to go to work. So I got like four and a half hours of sleep. Okay. I go to work. I'm working a full shift and about 75% of the way through my shift. I'm on a break and I get a message from my Alliance saying, Hey, we need you in a flag. I guess the other people in the kingdom who have Zenobia YSS just weren't online. They they saw I was on discord. They hit me up and I was like, you know, I, I'm on, I'm at work right now. I really can't play. And at that time, my city was actually already in the home kingdom. That's right. The day before I got zeroed, I was actually safely teleported back in my home kingdom. And you can see, I only have less than five days remaining in this KVK. I just, you know, I chalked it up as a loss. I was like, it is what it is. We lost. I'm just going to go home. I don't want to fight and like protect the starting zone. Like, I don't care about that. I'm just going to leave. But because I've been so useless during KVK, when my Alliance reached out, and they said they needed my Zenobia in the flag. I was like, you know what? It is what it is. I told them, hey, I'm not going to be online right now, but I'll teleport in. 
I popped a bubble, I teleported near the flag, and I put my Zenobia Charles in that flag. I messaged them saying, hey, I'm not going to be online. I'm going back to work. I'll come back in maybe an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. So I get done with work. I check Rise of Kingdoms. I see that the flag was hit a couple times. I barely had any troops left. I think I refreshed my troops once, or I brought the, the troops back home, but I still had like six hours left on my peace shield. I figured, okay, I'm going to take the train home. And then when I get home, I'll play some Rise of Kingdoms. I'll edit a video. I'll go to bed. So I get home. I eat some dinner. I watch some YouTube videos I start filming and then I get really into editing a video that I'm gonna upload in just a couple of days and next thing I know it's really late and I had only slept four and a half hours the night before so I crawl into bed and I pass out immediately and that's literally it that's literally it I just forgot I literally had been so busy lately that I just like I knew that I wasn't in my home kingdom but I wasn't even like thinking about rise of kingdoms when it was time for bed because I was so exhausted like guys I, I know this is like a rise of kingdoms YouTube channel, but you got to realize on my list of priorities, like in my real life, rise of kingdoms is like number five, right? Like there's just other things happening in my life. And I got caught with my pants down. I got caught with my pants. That's what happens. That's what happened. It is what it is. So now it's time to answer some more of your frequently asked questions. Another question that I got a ton is, are you quitting? I'm not quit. It's literally not a big deal. Like in five days, I'm going to get half my dead troops back anyway. And also this is a war game like this. This just, this happens. And also I deserved it. That's the biggest part is like I literally messed up like it's it's my fault that I got zeroed and also I'm pretty much just a farmer anyway so it doesn't even matter so no I'm not quitting I still love rise of kingdoms I still play this game every single day and the silver lining is really that it'll just be easier for me to migrate now like that's actually true but if I'm being honest it doesn't I'm like I barely care that I got zeroed and I know that sounds like I'm lying or whatever but again I, I spend most of my time playing all the events in the game and filming and editing videos and and like the days of me sitting in kvk for eight hours straight are just they're over now some of you who are new to the game may be asking what do you do after you get zeroed like what is the next step well what do you do when you get caught with your pants down you pull your pants up really quick you act all tough and masculine about it pretend like it doesn't bother you and then of course you just buy all the fate changer bundles so you at least get some value out of it honestly the first thing that I did was I just sped up my whole hospital I was just like yeah I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen <laughs> I just I just bulk healed the whole thing like I got 30 helps and I just sped up the rest of it and that's the worst way to heal down your hospital by the way but at that point I was just like Fuck it. you guys have to realize that when you get zeroed you still keep everything that you've done in your account except for your troops like you keep all your commanders you keep all your tech you keep all your equipment and in this instance and I'm in kvk I even get half the troops back anyway so getting zeroed isn't as bad as it used to be and I just I really don't think it's a reason to quit the game so if you get zeroed you just keep playing but the worst part the absolute worst part about this entire thing is that there isn't a video of it and I'm not even mad that I didn't get to put the video on my YouTube channel right because I actually don't really I you know I could still record this video right here without the footage it doesn't really matter to me that I don't have the footage what matters to me most is that my ego is shattered because literally no one who was awake at that time knew who I was or cared about me enough to record the video when an important player gets zeroed there's a video of it. So now that my ego's in the trash, let's talk about what I did with the money from the Wheel of Fortune event video. If you guys missed that video, that's actually one of my favorite videos I've recorded recently. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. But spoiler alert, I did end up losing $38 to the Wheel of Fortune. And I said in that video that I would allow the top comment to decide where that money goes. But unfortunately, the top comment didn't have anything to do with that request, but I went through and I looked at all the comments and the most comments that had the most thumbs up were saying that I should donate the money to a charity that supports Palestine. Palestine. So I posted over on my Instagram story asking for inspiration from good charities that people think would be, you know, worth donating to. And the one that I settled on was the Palestine Children's Relief Fund. They provide free medical care for sick and injured children from the Middle East, regardless of their nationality or religion. Now, instead of donating $38, I rounded it up to 40 and the company that I work for does a 100% matching donation. So my $40 was matched to make a total of $80. And also a friend of mine was inspired by this donated. $20 himself, which also got matched for another 20. So all in all, that video ended up raising $120 for the Palestine Children's Relief Fund. And honestly, I think that's a pretty solid outcome. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a thumbs up on it. You guys have been crushing that thumbs up button lately, and I really do appreciate it. Like I said, it really does help get the channel out into the YouTube algorithm. And I think the relative success of some of my recent videos just goes to prove that. So again, thank you very much. Also, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a Rise of King 
in this video. A free way to support the channel and help me afford all of those fate changer bundles that I purchased is to download Rise of Kingdoms for free for your PC using a program called Blue Stocks. The link is in the description below. I've been using Blue Stocks for years. It's my favorite way to play Rise of Kingdoms. And if you don't end up liking it, you can always uninstall it later. As always, my social media links are in the description below. So make sure you follow me over there on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, all that stuff. It's always down below. And of course, I don't think I have to say this, but comment your thoughts on me getting zero down below. I think you guys, are, I think it's going to be pretty toxic down there anyway. And let me know if you enjoyed that little intro segment that I did. Anyway, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been OmniArc. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace. Man, fuck.